Hey, what's up guys, Xenomorph Ben here. Alright, so... You may have noticed that the banner, background, whatever, for the channel has changed to Echo. And this is because the day has come that some people have been dreading. Uh, I know I've been kind of dreading it, because even though Echo is kind of aggressive and definitely a little mean, I still love them to death, and if you, you kind of know where I'm going with this now. He has been rehomed. I'm probably going to lose a lot of subscribers for this, but he was rehomed. Um, I traded him with this guy, and actually he might even be a subscriber now, I don't know, so, hey, hey, <laughs> um, so, I got this beautiful setup with his iguana, this beautiful, nice bird cage, you can see, uh, the red iguana that I got, he's kind of basking up there, we think it's, uh, we think it's a she, he, he wasn't sure himself, I can't really tell, I, I mean, I know what the character Characteristics are for a male, uh, an adult male, but this is kind of a juvie, not a sub adult, so it's kind of hard to say. It's about maybe two years, I think he said it was a year old, maybe. Um, she's kind of aggressive though. She is seemingly not much different than Echo. Like, with, with her, I don't, I'm not as afraid of getting bit, but. I feel like I'm, the chances of me getting rid are still the same. Um, but she's just a little thing that I hate, but I'm gonna have to live with. Uh, whenever she gets scared in her cage, she come, just bolts the other direction. And you'll probably hear it, because I'm gonna try to take her out, because I've kind of tried to proof my room, hide all the little hiding places that she could go. That I will have a difficult time getting to her. Um, but she just bolts in a direction and makes all this noise and it's get like like it's one thing to get to be whipped it's one thing that they run in a direction but when they it's kind of the noise that scares me but she i don't think she's eaten anything like i've had her for about a day now i've been trying to feed her uh, lettuce carrots obviously chopped up carrots and lettuce uh even gave her a little bit of chopped up bananas she seem to eat any of it. Um, just seems kind of thrown on the floor as she tries to make her desk the escape. So, um, so yeah, probably, um, I actually talked to him about this. He said, well, usually he feeds them around 6 a.m., which, if it was any later, I would not be able to do that, because I have to get up and leave for school, because school absolutely sucks, around... I gotta get up by like 6.04 or something. Actually, I might actually have to leave at 5.40. I think I had a time change. Just kind of shows how, ter how terrible school bus systems are. But yeah, uh, I'm probably going to flip the camera around in a second. So, And you're probably going to hear a lot of noise because I'm going to flip the camera around and put it down and try to grab her. So, we'll see. Oh, and I just want to say something. Actually, no, I'll say it in a second. Alright, I'll be right back. Do not have to flip my camera, which means unfortunately now I'm gonna have to piece two videos pieces together. I don't need... anyway. So you're gonna see the craziness that happens whenever I try to get her out. And let me tell you a little something about what I know of iguanas. They're typically more comfortable when they are higher up than you, but at the same time they feel more dominant. So, and I'm kind of seem to have seen this with her um, when. I was, cause I was thinking, well, maybe she scared me, cause I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a tall guy. This angle probably doesn't makes me look more fat, cause my belly's closer to the thing. But it wouldn't surprise me if it scares the crap out of her, cause I'm a little taller. So I kind of thought, well, I'll be on my knees, so I'll be a little lower, so I can help clean up the bottom of her cage. And started doing the head bobbing thing, still showing signs of progression. So I kind of think it might be a dominance thing. Which could lead to her actually being a male, because males are very dominant and territorial. Um, I actually owned two really large adult green iguanas. I got them for 20 bucks for the pair, because it was a male and female. I actually rescued them, because somebody 
just dropped these two adult iguanas, green iguanas, in a dog cage that was, like, way too small for them at this pet store that was closing that day. And I just so happened to be there, thank God. And I picked them up. I was like, okay. They said, well, we... I forgot. I think they said it was, like, $20 for them in the cage, or it was, like, something like that. And... So I, I, I was like, yes, I'll try to nurture them back to health. And I look, and that's like the first time I ever had an iguana. And so, yes, these two adult iguanas, one of them was a female. I named her Zilla. We built them. It took probably a couple of weeks, but, it, but we built a six foot, um, maybe a seven foot tall cage by, definitely it was not nearly wide enough as it should be. It probably was wide as this cage is, if not maybe a little bit wider. Actually, yeah, definitely a little bit wider, because I know I could walk in it. Um, and after like a month or two of having them, they, they became healthy. They were able to support their own body weight. They could, they became green. They were no longer gray. They were very green. They were outside. They, but eventually we had to get rid of them, because they kept escaping. And unfortunately for me, that means we had to get rid of them, and I did not want to do that. And I still regret, because they were the nicest iguana that I've ever had. I've had a couple other iguanas. I had another red iguana that I got from a reptile store that was definitely a way too aggressive for me. Or, well, probably about as aggressive as this one is, but I wasn't really ready to put it up with that at the time. So now I am. Um, uh, I, I don't really expect her to bite because she is herbivorous, but they do have a nasty bite. And I know that if you do get bit, it will hurt. So I'm just kind of hoping. Like she, Right now she's kind of like... She's breathing heavily. She's got a very defensive posture up right now. She's fixated on me. Well, they're kind of looking all like she's like, like looking every part of me. She's not looking directly into my eyes, but she's looking at every part. Of me. It's okay. The only good sign that there is right now is that she does not have her dewlap open. But I know as soon as I put my hand in there, she's gonna, she's gonna flip that out. What you doing, pretty? Oh, I don't know if I said what I what her name is yet. I decided to name her Strawberry, which I think is a very fitting name. I think Rubus, something like that. It was like some kind of type of ret, like a vegetable. My dad wanted to call her, and he would not let it drop it when I said no, because two people voted Strawberry, and he said Rubus, and he would not let it go. What are you doing? Can I can I pick you up? Come on. I just want you to be better than Echo. You're about to see some crazy stuff happen. What are you doing? What was that? Why are you squirting water out of your mouth? Is your tail stuck? She's very defensive right now. It really would not surprise me if it's actually a he, because she's very territorial. And just, I don't know, she just doesn't really seem that feminine. Yes, I'm talking about you. And I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, I actually. Looking at the signs, I'm pretty sure this is a male, actually, because the back spines are definitely really long. Um, it's kind of have a horn nose. I don't think that really matters, but just the territorial uh, posture defense and the elongated neck spines. And the fact you do not really have this innocent-looking look, I'm pretty sure this is a male. Still going to call him Strawberry, though. I'm, I'm so afraid to pick her up, because, I don't know, because they look so innocent, but they're just as bad as monitors, I feel, like, except, I don't know, they have a more stiff tail, so it's kind of hurt, so, hold on, I'm going to give you a good look at her. Like, spitting water out of her mouth. Makes very defensive posture. Body isn't really raised with the ground, but she is very not happy. And she she looks like she's about to bolt, so you might have 
so she probably should expect that. Um, yeah, this I'm pretty sure this is male, but I don't I don't know. I'm not a, an expert in iguanas, but she's pretty though. I mean, she got a green belly, silver head, red body. Very pretty, but very ag aggressive. Like, if I try to get a closer look... I'm like, God damn it, see, like, that wasn't even an attack, she just scared me. That's the only reason why I do not like these metal cages with reptiles, because they always freak out. So when they hit every bar, metal bar, and it makes an echo, it's just so loud. And You know how people are afraid of, like, thunder, when it's like, you know, a big boom? Like, you know it's not really, I mean, it's obviously dangerous, but you know you're not going to get hurt, usually, most likely. But it's just like the sound that it makes absolutely scares the crap out of you. And that's what that's my problem is. And in this type of cage specifically, it's worse. I don't know, I just gotta reach in there and grab her. And pray she does not try to bite. Right, but I'm gonna have to put the camera down. I'm probably gonna get hurt. Alright. Record. It's okay though, nothing happened. Just me act, looking like a little bitch. So she's excessively whipped me with her tail several times. That hasn't really hurt. It's just that I'm just afraid she'll bite. That's my big deal. I want to see if I can kind of get her just to whip my glove here. I don't know. Man, I wish my other glove wasn't ripped because. I want to see. I want to see what happens if she whips this, cause I don't. I mean, it's a completely different story. Like anyway, she's a crazy lizard. I love her, but I, I, I don't know. I love her, and I'll definitely try to keep her. But she's just like, I'm. I'm looking for like less of an aggressive lizard. And. The guy said she wasn't that aggressive. Like, he said that she's kind of skittish in, skittish in her cage. And that may be true. That's definitely true. But getting her out of the cage is definitely the hard part. Like, if they're not... Like, if they're skittish outside of their cage, then that's a, little, that's a different story. Because then I can get them out. But if I can't get them out of their cage, then I can never get them to not be skittish. And it's just... I don't know. I love iguanas. I just don't know how I feel about juveniles. Because they're super rowdy and aggressive. So I want to try to get her again since you guys not, didn't see me trying to get her before. Just look at my hand. A couple marks. Like, see, the problem is, when I put my hand in there, she, like, leans her face towards my hand. That, to me, is an indication she is going to jump and bite. That is why I'm afraid to go full way, because she, she can easily turn around and just nip me. Like, I don't mind tail whips, not at all. Getting maimed by their claws, no big deal, I've been through all that. But a bite is a much different story, because the saliva with the bacteria, much different story. And I'm just, you are one of them.
go on the wall, please. I got you. See what happens when you're not aggressive? I don't mark, I don't scream. Can you just let go of the wall, please? Go there more, please. Why do you keep grabbing on the wall? Come on. A very gentle person. See, no big deal. You're even helping you bask. You are a pretty lizard, and I don't want us to be enemies. Well, I held her for a second, and then I put her down, and she's back to aggressive. You know. Wait a minute. Maybe she's kind of aggressive because it's night out right now. And her light is kind of casting a, a, a shadow, a figure of herself on the window. So it's possible she might be trying to target, or again, it's probably a he, probably trying to attack the figure that she sees in the window, which kind of looks like her, or him, I'm sorry. And, again... If it is male, it is territorial, and obviously is not liking the presence of the other figure. So, you'll see my arm, my biceps. I got, I'm not in gym this year, so I'm probably, I'm definitely weaker than I was last year, because I'm not in gym. And I'd like to take gym, but I have to skip art, and I want to focus more on art. Though I should go to the gym regularly. Why bring it? I would like to take you out. But I'm a f like take you out of your cage, but I'm afraid that you will pull. I have I have flashbacks of Echo where he would where I'd hold him all calm and nicely, and then he would just. I don't know when it did, but it did. Um, I know it wasn't too long ago though, and I don't think I have much time left because my phone has no data apparently. But just know that. I don't want to take her out of her cage just kind of because I'm afraid that she might bolt and that is why I think made Echo not really not like to be held because he would jump off me and then he would view me as a horrible monster because he was on the floor and I was standing up. And so I don't want that to happen with her so I want to take her out but I'd have to have a more firm grip on her until I know that she is capable of not bolting uh, when I take her out of her cage. But anyway, I'm Zemo Ben. Sorry that Echo is gone, but the guy is keeping me updated constantly about him. Right now he's having trouble feeding her, or him. I'm having a bit of trouble feeding her because she's a little, doesn't really, she's always knocks away her food. So, we'll just kind of see if we can work things through. I'm Zemo Ben, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.